Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a bird video without having any birds in it. <laughs> um, what I have is I'm going to do a bit of an empties kind of thing. And also I have a big box that a friend sent me. I sent her my um, suet feeder and um, I couldn't use it here in Florida. I tried, but I just get mold all over the suet. So now that feeder lives in Kentucky, where it's covered in snow right now. <laughs> and the birds are going crazy for it at her house, and she's very glad to have it. It's, that's such a nice um, brand of feeders. Uh, so she sent me something as a thank you that is more in tune with what we might use here in Florida. And um, I wanted to save it to open it on camera. And what helped me to do that, because I was dying to get into it, were these peanuts. <laughs> that helped me. Oh, wow, it's a big box. Yeah. I saw the invoice, so I have a bit of an idea what it is. I know it's made out of reclaimed wood. And it's bird-related, I know that. But the specifics of it, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's a lot of peanuts. It must be breakable. That's all I can think of. Hold on a minute. I gotta move these peanuts. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Has anyone else ever tried to corral peanuts with a uh, ceiling fan going? I don't recall if this said bird feeder or bird house. I just know it said bird something. I kind of looked away and uh, I know why. <laughs> All right, let's unwrap its head. This takes me back to Bonaire and Curacao. Okay, so it is a bird house. It is a flamingo bird house. Oh, kind of matches my shirt today and my hat. I'm just all in the pink. Cool. It is made out of reclaimed wood. It's definitely wood. It's heavy. Oh, it appears to have a little... Um, trap door back there and a little hole I guess for uh, I don't know drainage I'm sure it's for drainage yeah it doesn't look at the bottom opens but the back does for cleaning it out so that's nice it just has a little screw and you can take that off so yeah it is a reclaimed wood flamingo birdhouse and it is as cute as it can be look at the little details on it the painting now, I'll probably have to replace this piece of hemp, jute, whatever, um, because in Florida that's not going to last. Probably use more like a, what are those, zip tie kind of things when I figure out where to put it. I think I might hold off a little bit closer to bird time. Well, actually, that's February probably when they start nesting up, I'm thinking. Yeah. See where my backyard might be a good place for it. So thank you, Jan, if you're watching. I don't know if she watches my videos, but thank you. It's adorable, and I can hardly wait to place it. All right, so now let's talk about some bird seed. I've talked about bird seed in the past, I think in one video, but it was a very long time ago. So I think I'd like to just um, go back over some of the bird seeds that I use and tell you what I think about them. So these are empty bags, so they may make a little bit of noise. So one of the things I feed is the black oil sunflower seeds. This is a brand that seems to be a pretty high quality to me. I don't have to get a huge bag. This is, um, what size is this one? Can't tell. <laughs> it, but it does say it attracts cardinals, woodpeckers, nuthatches, chickadees, grosbeaks, and more. Yeah, everybody likes sunflower seeds. And especially the black oil. I did get the big white and black striped ones and have mixed those in with my sunflowers before, but I think these are the ones that they like. I also feed opened sunflowers, I don't know, shelled, you know, just the inside part, and I mix these in with that because I think that like the chickadees seem to prefer having the one in the shell and then landing on a tree and drilling into it more than just eating the open one, and maybe the titmice, titmouse too, but anyway, so I mix this with about twice as much that is shelled because some of the birds will eat these if they're shelled. 
And then here are the shelled ones. They are called sunflower kernels. This is a small bag. I usually get a bigger one. This is five pounds. I think the one I usually get is more like 20 pounds or 15 or 12 or something. And then, yeah, it's it, it's twice as big as this because the ratio is kind of two to one what I do usually. And like I said, sometimes I throw in those black and white striped ones, but they're not as popular. This one says buntings, cardinals, chickadees, finches, flickers, grosbeaks, nuthatches, red poles, titmice, towhees, and woodpeckers. It's just a titmouse, and if you have more than one, I don't know if it's titmice like it said, and like I accidentally said. Alright, so one of my favorites, because it brings the northern mockingbird, is this bug and nuts. I should show you one. I have one not used, but it's a cake that goes into a cage feeder. And it has mealy worms primarily, I think, and then probably next peanuts, and then sunflowers, uh, not in the shell, and then it has like cranberries, I think is what's in it, is the other item in it. Now, I have been using these for a long time. In fact, my uh, Amazon link on it said that I've ordered it like 25 times, and I get a two-pack of them, so that tells you. And it's not cheap, but and the squirrels are eat me out of house and home on this, unfortunately. But I just don't want to give up the knocking birds. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, and in all those times, I've always got what feels like a fresh cake, where it has a little bit of sponginess and it just feels fresh. So this particular cake and its partner <laughs> this particular time came in and they were very dry and they were crumbled all on the edges. Probably at least 10% of it was just a crumble that I just threw on the ground and, and let the Muscovy ducks eat. But um, try not to feed them but the squirrels feed them by jumping on stuff like this and dropping pieces. But anyway, so I did write to the company and to the vendor who shipped this. I, and that was like a week ago at least, and I didn't hear a thing from them. And this particular one actually had just a little piece of hard plastic in it. Very small, but just a shard of plastic. Some, some machinery somewhere broke a piece of plastic off. And so, you know, I don't think the birds would have taken that. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily a danger to them, but I thought the company should know. I was a little disappointed that nobody reached out, but they didn't. So, hmm. But I do like the product. I'll continue to buy it. I am going to look it over really well. But yeah, that was just such an old, it was like an old cake. It was dried up, and I was shocked. And it didn't hold up, of course. It's In two days, it's it's gone because it's just crumbling apart. But, oh well. Moving on. <laughs> oh, the two ones I did order, the next ones, they are back like the old ones where they have that a little bit of moisture to them or something. It's not really moist, but it's just not dried. All right, so the next is a uh, little Eric. I'm sorry I broke the brand off here. L-Y-R-I-C. Delight No Way Smiths. This has sunflowers, peanuts, pecans, pistachios, I'm trying to remember what else. Oh, five nutritional ingredients. Everything in here is edible, 100% edible. It doesn't have a lot of sticks and stuff like that that you can find in these. Um, yeah, okay. Shelled peanuts, sunflower kernels, pecans, pistachios. Oh, and pumpkin seeds. I knew there was one more big one. They don't seem as crazy about the pumpkin seeds as some of the others, but that's okay. When they knock them on the ground, the ducks eat them. And it says that it will attract cardinals, chickadees, finches, jays, nuthatches, titmice, woodpeckers, and more. Now, I've never had a nuthatch eat from my feeders. I've seen them on the trees there. They're very curious as to what's going on, but I've never seen them at my feeder in Florida. I think I did in Alaska. But. All right, so next is Audubon Park Songbird Selection. Um, this is really mostly, what is that stuff called? Well, I'll just tell you what it says back here. It says it attracts goldfinches, purple finches, pine siskins, buntings, chickadees, tick mice, and more. Uh, it, is got, it has sunflower seed in it, it says, but it is primarily Niger. It has white millet, red millet, not a lot of those. It is primarily Niger, or a lot of Niger, which is hard to keep it in the feeders that I have because Niger's so little and it is not the bird's favorite 
food. So what I ended up doing is, the next you'll see that I had basically a millet bird feed coming up next. And I mixed this with that. I just poured it in with that because straight in the thing, most of it was just going through the bird feeder, not the thing, the bird feeder. Uh, it was kind of going through the bottom of it. A lot of it was, and they were making a mess trying to get to the parts that they wanted. So I mixed it in with something else, which brings me to this. Now I did not purchase this. My neighbor gave me this because she bought some to feed the ducks and then the ducks became a little, uh, a little much for the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, there's, when you, when you have a mama with 16 babies and they all grow up and they don't want to fly off and then they're begging for people all the time following neighbors around stopping traffic you know i think they're cute but they do leave a lot of poop so some of the neighbors aren't as crazy for them but anyway she was feeding them some of this at one time and this is the red millet and white millet and i don't know what else is on here does it say oh milo millet i thought milo and millet were the same thing black oil sunflowers there are some sunflowers on there yeah, that's all that's in there. And it says it attracts chickadees, juncos, towhees, morning doves, evening grosbeaks, sparrows, house finch, and purple finch. It, the house finches are who eat this at my house mostly. And the cardinals get in there too, but I don't know if the cardinals are eating the millet or if they are eating the sunflowers that are mixed in with it. Uh, but this is one of those feeds that some birds will go in wanting just the sunflower and toss the millet on the ground. And that's why I typically don't buy that. But, you know, she gave it to me, so I have a bunch of it. She gave me this whole bag, plus another bag that was open. So, And finally, this is probably one of my more successful things that I feed, are the peanut pieces. Now, I used to just feed this because my feeder said, it was a peanut feeder, it said just feed the peanuts. But since then, I had to get a new one, and it's called a nut feeder. And I can feed this one in that nut feeder as well. This is the one that's the no waste mix that has a few other, you know, the pecan and pistachios and pumpkins and stuff too. I used this one on the tray feeder and this one in the peanut feeder. Now that I have a nut feeder, I just mix these together and feed. It's, you know, mostly peanut, but um, now I feed that in the nut feeder instead of the peanut feeder. I did notice that when I went from one to the other, they're the same feeder, they look the same, but the wire cage that they get stuff through is a little different. So maybe that's the difference between a nut feeder and a peanut feeder. So thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I don't have a lot of bird content, but I do have some. So keep watching.